Today's video is a direct follow-up on my last video that I uploaded on this channel, which if you haven't seen yet, I'll link it somewhere up here. If you don't feel like actually going and watching that video, I'll just briefly recap it right now. It was actually a follow-up on a Bionicle yard sale haul that I got maybe three years ago. It was a bin that I picked up for five bucks full of Bionicle stuff. In that video, I dumped it out, showed all the stuff in there, and me not knowing a whole lot about Bionicle, I asked my viewers, what should I build? What do I have here? Because I would have to go on and find instructions on how to actually build the stuff and you guys came through and it was a pretty unanimous decision. Of the comments that I got, the most common requests that I saw was that I should build what is called a Tarakava, which I wasn't even entirely sure what that is. So I did a quick Google search and looked it up and I found out what it looked like, so I was able to match it with what I have. And then I also did another Google search where I could find the instructions for it. And I thought it'd be fun in today's video to actually try building the Tarakava or at least get started on it. So I'm back over at the Bionicle table, which as you can see is still a giant mess from last time. The Tarakava very easily is right here in the front, and this is where it's at right now. Obviously not complete. You can see the arms do go up. It has the tread part on here, which is mostly complete, and I think there's a lot of stuff missing from the top of this. I did see one of the arms over here, which these things are sort of like rock'em sock'em robots, and I believe that I have, there's not only this teal one, which I'll put right there for now, but I think there is also, there's this one too. And this one's a little more complete on the upper end. You can see how the arms kind of work, and this works for both of them. And I think this is the bottom tread part for the blue one, which I'm not really sure how this all goes together, so I'm going to use the instructions for that. But there we got the blue. So I'm going to set that kind of off to the side here. I'm going to obviously have to unload most of this stuff and put it back, but I need to keep some parts out. So we got the one arm for it, and I'm hoping that the other one's in here too, or it's gonna kind of ruin at least this build if I don't have the other arm. So I'm just gonna start kind of taking the stuff back off the table and I'll see exactly what we have in here. And hopefully I can find some of the things that, that kind of replicate the two of these and you can see how they are very much alike, but also kind of different because of the parts that are missing. I guess I'll kind of start just by getting rid of a lot of this big stuff that I absolutely know isn't a part of this, but are definitely gonna be builds that I do in the future. I mean, some of these are nearly complete as we saw in the last video, that's what a lot of these big things are. I'd like to build this out. I'm only missing a few pieces, I believe, so I'd like to take care of that. I think that's uh, from Star Wars. Let's get, let's just get a lot of these off here. And again, if you know what some of these are, if you know the names of these, let me know what they are because I like to build them out. And it helps me if you can tell me what they are because otherwise I wouldn't have known that this is a Tarakava if I'm even saying that right. So we'll keep getting rid of this big stuff off of here. Obviously these wheels aren't going to be needed. This, geez, I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll put it back. Lots of dust and dirt. I could probably use a good cleaning on these things as well, but I can tell with these green pieces. So I'll just kind of speed this up here so you don't have to watch me unload this entire table. And we'll kind of get this down to what I think is a, a, a doable portion of pieces that I could probably pull from. Here's one that I noticed that's very complete. Anybody have any idea what that is? Maybe the colors you give away? Not really sure. Here's some connects that shouldn't even be in here. Here's a little bionicle. Looks like it's just missing a head. I could probably find that somewhere in here too. This is what I'm left with on my pile. I tried to get rid of everything that was not a color that I'm dealing with here. So anything that's either not kind of gray or that royal blue or the teal, which unfortunately there was really no teal to be found. Here's what I came up with. These are the two Tarakava. I don't know what their names are again, but here is the first one, the teal one. And I did find the arms. I did find those rubber pieces that go on the end and I found this piece. But one thing that I'm a little disheartened with, I know I'm missing pieces because if you take a look, take a look at this, I'll bring this up here and then take a look at that. The piece that I'm missing is that kind of like face piece or mouth piece that's on there that kind of goes over its teeth. I don't have that for this one and it's pretty clear that the blue one is missing it right now too. The good news is with the blue one, there's a lot of blue in here and it might be in there, but I can already tell that it's it's not gonna be a complete set. Looking at the directions here, I was kind of just cruising through there. I think I'm gonna rip this whole thing apart and build it from scratch as though this was a build that I was starting over again, just to see what I have. And maybe some of the missing pieces I can source from this. And if not, I can kind of get an idea of what I'm missing and how, uh, to what extent I'm missing this stuff. And I think it'd be fun just to kind of go through it as though this is a new set for me, which it pretty much is.
The Terracava Teardown is complete. Kind of crazy how complex these things are. I kind of like that about these Bionicles. Basically a Technic set is really what it came down to. Very intricate, and this whole pile here is what was what I had built. Now I guess I'm gonna go over here and start building it again from scratch, which I'm really looking forward to. This is where I'm at right now. I'm on step nine, and this is the first spot where I've gotten to that I'm actually missing pieces. I'm missing that piece right there and the piece that goes on top of it. So hopefully in this hoard here, I can end up finding, finding it somewhere. You know what, I think this might be the piece that I'm looking for, at least something similar to that. And uh, I think I need a little more pieces too. This piece is already attached in here, so I'm just gonna take that and go like that. I think they want this to come down like this. There we go. And now this goes on top of that. And that becomes the arm. That's pretty cool. There's a better look at it right there. And that sort of becomes the, I guess the left side of this. There's supposed to be a rubber band that goes on there to kind of flex that back. Fortunately, from what I can see here, I don't have that rubber band, but I can keep looking for it. Looks like the next step has me start working on the head, which is another sore spot because I know I'm missing some pieces from that too. There's the completed head. It's really unfortunate that I'm missing such an important part. There's sort of like a nose piece that goes over this. So its mouth is kind of just hanging out there, but we're gonna make the best with what we have and that's what we have. I'm finishing the right arm here, and as I mentioned, there is no shoulder piece, but the cool thing is I did find the bands for these, so that kind of works out well. I'll put this on to match the other one. So the, this piece here isn't going to connect in the same way that this one does, but I do have, for the most part, it mostly completed, and it works really well. And I like how that kind of pops back in now that I have those bands on there. This one's a little loose. This one's pretty tight. I'm gonna go back through and see if I can find another really small one. After doing some searching, I wasn't successful in finding a tighter band for this arm. Of course, I couldn't find that shoulder piece that's over here that matches it, and I didn't find the face piece that goes over. Even with the missing pieces, which probably takes us down to about 85% complete, I'm overall very happy with the build. I love this tank tread at the bottom. I like the way that moves around. It's got the springs all over the place, which makes this move. There's all kinds of functions to it, which makes it great. And I love the Rock'em Sock'em Robot stuff that's going on here. It's gonna be even more fun when I get the second one built which right now is in a pile of pieces on my floor. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Terracava video. My very first Lego Bionicle build certainly won't be my last. I do have plans for this. I'm gonna do some custom mods to this just to make it more complete and make it my own. So watch out for that in the future. I'm also gonna build the other Terracava, whatever that one's name is. And I'm gonna do a lot more Bionicle videos. I love these things. They're fantastic. It's like Technic and it's a lot of fun. They kind of like robots. I love it. So thank you for the Thank you to the person that inspired me to get back into this. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun here, a lot of future videos, and it's gonna be fun just to go on this journey together into the world of Bionicle. So thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.